Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. And we get a lot of questions about which web browser should we use. And if you're not sure what a web browser is, basically it's a program that acts as the interface between your computer and the Internet. It displays web pages. It shows movies. It lets you play games. It lets you do your online banking and communicate with the rest of the world. Basically, it's just a program that allows you to talk to the Internet and allows the Internet to talk to you. Now, the question is, which browser is the best? Well, there's three major players. There's several other ones, including Safari and Opera and some other ones. But the three biggies that most people run into are Internet Explorer, which is built into the Windows operating system. And uh, you can't use it on the Mac anymore. They used to have one for the Apple system, but that's gone away. As far as our customer base goes, we've got probably an equal amount of people using all three. So basically, with few exceptions, there's very few differences between the browsers. They all get you to the same place. They all do basically the same thing. They all run the same type of software under the hood, but they look and act a little differently, which is the difference between these browsers. Now, I have heard of some situations where some uh, virtual school and online classes are not compatible with a particular browser due to security reasons, where some things, for example, will work in Firefox or Chrome that will work in Internet Explorer or an older version of some of the browsers. In the most cases, most banking sites work, most news sites work, all the social media sites work, YouTube works in all the browsers, it's just a, a different way of getting to places. So um, Internet Explorer has, uh, and again, it's what most people are used to because it's the original browser that shipped with uh, Windows. So that's uh, nice to have that familiarity. Um, it has made some changes as it's gone all the way up to Internet Explorer uh, 11 in uh, newer Windows uh, 8 installations. Um, you may notice that some things are arranged differently, and some people have lost their browser bars or their uh, toolbars. And there's an easy way to get those back. I can give you some quick tips in here while we're at it. You can actually take your mouse, your cursor, and put it over any blank space on the top of the browser. And then using the right click, which is the right mouse button, you can turn on your menu bar by left-clicking on that. You can turn on your favorites bar, just right-click in an empty area, and then left-click on your your menu bar, put that back, put your favorites bar, and you can put your command bar, which has all these little icons here. And again, these things may be missing due to an update or if you got a new computer or if you reinstalled Windows. There's also the status bar, which shows on the bottom of the uh, browser, which gives you a zoom level, which you can zoom in and do all kinds of crazy things. You can always just click on that and it takes it back to uh, 100%. It rotates through some different uh, magnification levels. So that's pretty cool. And the status bar, status bar is nice too because it tells you if a page is loading. So you don't know if you're just sitting at a page not doing anything. It tells you if it's actually doing something. So that's nice. Um, a lot of people love this uh, favorites bar. The favorites are different now. They used to show up on the um, the uh, left-hand side. Now they're on the right. Your favorites bar is different than your uh, than the uh, browser favorites bar. And uh, what I mean by that is if you click on your favorites, you're going to have a browser, uh, uh, let's call it a favorites bar in your browser, which may not necessarily show up in your favorites. In order to add something for your favorites, you just go to the website and just click on this star here and then click on add to favorites. And now it's going to, you can give it a special name too. A lot of people don't realize you can rename it. If you don't want that whole crazy long name, you can just uh, call it a MSN or whatever you want. It makes it nice and short, and your browser bar won't be as crazy. Now, if you click back on your favorites, I got MSN there. Same thing if AOL is your favorite, too. You can click on AOL, click on your favorites bar, and then add to favorites, and just build that up as you go. You can leave the whole long explanation in there if you want, or description, and then you have all that. So see how long it is and how short the MSN is? You can always change it by right-clicking on it, and you can rename that. That right-click is very powerful. A lot of people don't realize that you can right-click on things and uh, do all kinds of crazy menu things. So, And you can also do that up here, too, if you want to shorten that. If the AOL News Sports Weather is too much for you up there and you want to put more in your favorites bar, you can rename that and just call it AOL. And then just AOL will show up, and you see it made room for everything else. Do the same with MSN, too. And uh, a lot of people find that very helpful. This way you can fit more across the top of your screen if you have a lot of favorites or you're a very organized type of person. Those are two little tips a lot of people aren't aware of, and now you know. And now you know. I feel like NBC. All right, so uh, this is Internet Explorer. Uh, again, your favorites are up here. You can click on the star, open up your favorites. Uh, it used to be on the left. Now it's on the right. You can also pin this, too. 
by using and a lot of people didn't realize this there's this bar to the upper left once you click on this star on the favorites star you click on this thing it will actually pin your favorites to the left side so they're always there now if you wanted to get around it makes it real easy to kind of navigate if you don't like the favorites bar up top essentially do the same thing and you can do two separate favorites you could do folders here you can do new favorites folders uh, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff up here and uh, just get really really organized if you want to and uh, you can organize and we'll do that in a different video I'm gonna get a little too crazy here so if you don't like that bar there just click the X it goes back and you can always get back to your favorites by clicking the star so that's Internet Explorer now if we're gonna open Chrome which is my personal favorite browser for a number of reasons um, number one it can synchronize across computers so I use many different computers and also smart devices and I use Chrome I log in with my Google account and um, this gives me the flexibility to have all my favorites, all my stuff, all my saved passwords and everything all in one place, no matter which computer I am using. So this is Google Chrome. And as you can see, it looks a little different. Along the top, you've got this large, long bar here. And what this is for is you can actually search or pull up websites in this bar. So you can do that to type in your address if that's what you like to do. Or if you just wanted to do a search, this also acts as your search bar. So it also, if you notice, it gives you more vertical screen space. You don't have all that junk up and down your screen. So you don't need the address bar and then a separate search bar. So that gives you a little more room to see what you want to see here on um the, uh, the, the actual web page inside the browser itself. Now your menu is a little different in Google Chrome and it's all the way, see, this is becoming the universal symbol for menu across mobile devices and PCs. It's the three bold lines. If you click on that, you'll see your menu. Here you can print, you can do all kinds of other stuff. You can actually click on bookmarks and show the bookmarks bar. Um, right now, since this is a fresh install of Chrome, I don't have any bookmarks here. But what I can do is import my bookmarks from Internet Explorer. And it's going to bring my favorites, bookmarks, save passwords, search engines, all that stuff over that's already in Internet Explorer and make it as seamless as a transition as possible. And then this bar down here is optional. Always show the bookmarks bar. Again, if you like the bookmarks bar, you can set that up there. Anyway, now I've got the same bookmarks bar that I had in Internet Explorer. So, we've got uh, our nice little browser favorites bar across the top here, and everything imported from the Internet Explorer is also here too, so that's nice. So all your favorites that weren't on your favorites bar are also imported right here in this nice nifty little folder. Uh, if you want to look at your favorites, you can also click on the menu and then look at, they call them bookmarks here in uh, Google Chrome rather than favorites. Firefox also uses the same terminology as bookmarks and uh, as does Safari Apple's browser. So basically everything's going to look alike. It's going to function the same way. Websites are going to look identical. Uh, what's nice about some of the newer browsers is you don't need Flash anymore. Now Flash was a problem because it was a security uh, conduit. A lot of people could hack in the Flash and access your computer and download all kinds of nonsense that way so now you don't have that particular problem um, because uh, flash has gone away if you right click on the video you can tell it's using the HTML5 player which is now built into browsers browsers can now play videos natively which gives you a whole lot more flexibility and some little bit more safety too so that's all built in a lot of the games are slow to convert but they're coming and uh, I believe the word on the street is that flash is largely going away so uh, in a couple of years, you may not even have Flash in a browser anymore. So hopefully all those game companies will uh, also get rid of Flash and use the native HTML5 or maybe some new technology to uh, integrate their games into the browsers for browser-based games. So, so the last browser we're going to look at is Firefox. Um, something important to know, Firefox, until you uncheck this box here, they're going to always say, hey, do you want to use Firefox as your default browser? And you can click not now. If you uncheck this, it'll go away and it won't ask you again. But you can set any of these browsers as your default browser. This looks very similar to Chrome. A lot of the same features, except your bookmarks are kind of in a different place. Now, if you look here, you see all your bookmarks. And uh, you can also click on bookmark sidebar, and it'll put all your bookmarks on the left, similar to where Internet Explorer puts it. So, um, and again, your menus here, you have settings laid out a little bit different, add-ons, which is where your plugins are going to be. You can uh, set your home page to whatever you want it to be here. If I wanted Yahoo to boot my home page, I would type that here. 
and then from this point forward whenever I open uh, uh, whenever I open Firefox then it's going to bring up home page and here's the button to check if Firefox is your default browser because occasionally when you install some programs it'll say hey you want me to install Google Chrome or Firefox is your default browser and it'll do that and you clicked on it without knowing it and it drives you bananas so then when you click on your home button it's going to now bring up Yahoo show or whatever else you put in there you could do MSN it really doesn't matter what your home page is uh, it's just a matter of preference you can get anywhere on the internet from any page and that's the beauty of the internet um, default start page is not a bad thing in Firefox uh, it brings up this blank page which you can integrate with whatever search engine you want I believe Yahoo is now the default but you can change that and uh, customize that to anything you want now. You could use Google, MSN, Bing, AOL, or Bob Search Engine, anything you want. You can customize all that, and we'll show you how to do that in a later video. Also, what's nice about that is they have a separate search bar up here, but you can also search from this bar up here. So two ways to search in um, Firefox, and you can also change your search preference here. Right now, the default with the uh, I think 29 and later I'm not sure correct me if I'm wrong is uh, Yahoo but you can check Google and it will make Google your search engine and show you how to do that stuff too so well, those are the three main browsers you have Internet Explorer Google Chrome Firefox is one better than the other some people say Chrome's a little faster some people say Firefox a little more customizable but really the most important thing to take away from this is they all do the same thing it's just a matter of preference oh you can import your um, favorites here from uh, from uh, from uh, Internet Explorer or Chrome which is nice you can import say I want to import data from another browser and I want to take it from Chrome what it'll do is import all this stuff into here and then I close this and then I can uh, look at my see if we can do a browser bar here uh, bookmarks toolbar and it won't list them across you can make your own thing here but now you can drag these up here and make your own favorites bar right here in firefox so just a little semantics little small differences in them but again they both all well all three of these browsers get you to the same place basically do the same stuff so really a matter of uh taste preference you can rename these too i believe can you rename these yeah it's a little more difficult here yeah you can rename it right here in the name and then uh, you can actually adjust it too so that's nice so those are the three main browsers is one better than the other probably not they all do the same thing and uh, don't be afraid to try all three of them that's Google Chrome Firefox and Internet Explorer very very similar in what they do and uh, they'll get you to the same place the same way just gonna look and feel a little different uh, if you have any questions uh, please post them in the comments below we'll get to them please like and subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching my name's Chuck Fresh I'm the PCGYN <laughs>